Mary, what I want to tell you more than anything is that I love you, no matter what happens. Mark, listen to me. Mary, I... Mary, I thought I was going to go out of my mind when I couldn't find you. I'm just afraid of losing you, all right? Excuse me. Is that Mr. Cranston who just went away? Yes, it was. If you don't mind, my wife and I are trying to have a private conversation. Thank you. Mark, I've done a lot of soul searching. Soul searching? Oh, is that what you call leaving the convent with Mason? I'm sorry. I told myself I wasn't going to do that. I guess I just didn't want to hear you lie about it. I've never no? lied to you before, and I'm not going to start now. <sighs> just this Mary, and just forget what I just said, all right? Besides, what I have to tell you is going to change everything. I've made up my mind, Mark. I mean, Mary, we can't talk here. Why don't we just go down to the house? I can't. Mary, if you want to confess to me that you slept with Mason, don't bother. I've already figured that. I was hoping you were going to say it wasn't true. Just come home with me, Mary. Just come home. Nick? Mason, have you seen Kelly? Have you heard from her at all tonight? No, I haven't. Is something wrong? I don't know where she is. I'm, uh, I'm just worried about her, that's all. I don't blame you. Haley, are you feeling better? Better, thank you. That's good. I am waiting for a phone call. I am too. <clears throat> Capital residence? Is it Kelly? Oh, no, Mr. Cranston isn't here. No, I, I, I'm positive. I, I can take a message, though. Haley, please. Um, no, don't worry. I will get it to him. Guarantee it. Haley? Who are you calling, Gina? No one. You left Brandon upstairs and came all the way down here? All the phones were busy up there. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. What? Ah, uh, look, I, I don't think we should talk here. Oh, you're running scared again, is that it? You got me over here to tell me something, all of a sudden, you're losing your nerve? That's not true. Did Kirk threaten you? No. Then how come you told Brandon to stay away from Uncle Kirk? Haley, this line must be kept clear. Someone's trying to call me. Well, when they do, get them off quickly. This is an emergency. Aren't you making a little bit much out of this, Nick? I'll explain it later, Mason. Please, just do as I say for right now, all right, Haley? All right. Thanks. I have work to do. No, I'll say one thing for you, Nick. Sure know how to clear out a room. What are you doing with a gun, Dylan? Get used to the idea. I did. What idea? Oh, come on, Kelly. If Nick was out of the way, all our problems would be solved. What do you mean if Nick was out of He's the way? He's always messing up our lives. Dylan! Kelly, Nick has got you thinking that you owe him your life because he met you first. Well, you don't owe him anything, sweetheart. Not a thing. Dylan, put the gun away. It's time to give Nicky his next clue. Look, don't call him. I don't want him here, all right? Look, we have to settle this. Now, it won't take him long to get to the Orient Express. And then we can time his entrance here. For what? What do you because want, Because I want Dylan? to give him one last chance. Now, maybe he'll realize finally that you don't belong to him anymore. If when he walks in, he catches us making love. Oh, Mason. Oh, I know, I know. This isn't the time or the place for idle chatter. You've got your phone call to wait for, and I'm straining to hear a certain footstep outside the door. Tell me, is, um, if you make a promise to stay out of a given situation, how long does it apply? Is there a statute of limitations on non-interference? I don't understand what you're saying. I'm not sure I do either. Hello? Right on top of things as usual, Nick. Where's Kelly? Oh, I'm her official messenger. I'm here to invite you to a little party. Dylan, I wanted oh, you. Shut up. You act like you're still calling the shots, and you're not. 
Now listen closely, because I'm only going to do this once. The sky tonight is bright and clear. But we can be much higher here. Your search for love won't be in vain. To find me, take the fastest train. You got that? Yeah. Now let me talk to Kelly now. Hurry up, Nick. Kelly and I are getting tired of waiting. We might start partying without you. Nicky, don't come over here! Dylan! That was dumb. Don't you ever do that again. <laughs> this is a fun game that you thought of here, Kelly. Only the stakes are a little higher than what Nick and I usually play for. And we both know who the winner, winner is, don't we? Yes, you're gonna have fun playing too, Kelly. Especially when Nick crosses that finish line. Dylan, just let me explain something to you. Don't. Don't you move a muscle. Hi, Mommy. Hi, sweetheart. Mark said he's gonna get me some more ice cream. If it's all right with you. Actually, that's oh. a great idea. Maybe he'd even uh, take you out to the kitchen to get it. Of course. To the kitchen, Brandon. Go ahead. Sit down, Gina. I'm going to tell you exactly where I'm coming from. I don't think there ever was any black man. I think you invented this 200-pound bearded guy who somehow managed to see Eden disconnect her father's life support and then turned up months later at the boathouse trying to kill her. I think there was only Kirk. Now, why don't you just tell me I'm right? I already made my statement. And you're going to stick to that story? Yes. Why don't you stop pressuring me, Cruz? I have enough things to worry about. I can't take it. Meaning Kirk? No, meaning protection. I'm worried about that. I don't exactly feel very safe. Oh, I don't blame you, Gina. You see, I just got some news. It concerns the type on the original blackmail note that was sent to Eden. It seems it matches the type on the note that lured her out to the boathouse. So? The same typewriter was used for both notes. A 1946 Remington, I believe. Oh, that just confirms my theory about the blackmailer, doesn't it? Yes, except that that typewriter is the very one we found in your motel room. Now, honestly, Gina, you're not going to be able to protect yourself from that kind of evidence. You go on clinging to this stupid story about this phantom blackmailer, and you're going to get hurt. It's going to be you and only you who's going to take the fall. Find out who's there. Who is it? Come in. Oh, dear. Look how wonderful of you, sweetheart. Hey, if you don't mind setting it over there by the win windows, that would be great, wouldn't it, darling? That's my favorite, non deep salad. What a lovely dinner, sweetheart. Here. There you go. Thank you, sir. Very well. Enjoy your meal. Oh, I'm sure we will, won't we, darling? Wait a minute. Anything wrong, Mrs. Perkins? What is it, Kelly? Nothing. I just wanted to thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you, we will. Thank you for almost doing that. Now, that's twice now. Why do you want to do that? You know why. You know, I'm beginning to think that you don't know anything about me. But I'm going to tell you something. I love you, Kelly, and all you want to do is to hurt me. I never meant to, Dylan. I was confusing you with Peter. Oh, don't I told start you. with that again and telling me that I remind you of some dead guy. Forget it. It's the truth. And it's happening to you now, too, Dylan. All the jealousies in the past that you had of Nick, they're coming back and they're poisoning the your life. But the only thing that changed me was when I realized that someone like you could love me. I never loved you. I made love to you once, And it that's changed all. your life just as much as it did mine. No, Dylan. You have to hear me. Just listen to me. Dylan, that wasn't me. That was some ghost. Oh, I was, I was haunted by these ghosts, but I'm okay. I'm all right, but the man I love is Nick, not you. Are you finished? Dylan, it's not too late to get out of it. You're holding on to your past. Kelly, Let please go of just it. answer me a question, okay? 
Are you absolutely sure that you are rid of Peter? Yes, I'm sure. Well, good. See, if you can forget a crazy man like that, you're not going to have any problem forgetting Nick. No, I don't want to forget Nick. Kelly, I am the only man in your life from now on. But I can see that just having Nick go away isn't going to be good enough. No, Nick is going to have to go. The way Peter had to go. Well, I never owned a typewriter like that. The blackmailer must have planted it in my room. No, that might be tough to prove. Why don't you just leave me alone? The only person I want to talk to right now is Eden. Eden has nothing to do with this. Look, Brandon really doesn't need any more ice cream. If you're worried about Brandon, you needn't be. I'm going to have him moved out of my house and over to Rosa's where he'll be safer. I'm going to arrange for a 24-hour guard. Good. But if you want the same thing, you're going to have to start coming across, Gina. And I mean now, you hold out on me, I'm going to throw the book at you. You just never let up, do you? Don't you see how scared I am? Don't you see that I'm worried that this man who tried to kill me and even that he's going to come after me again? I think he will. I'm offering you protection from that man. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to do the best I can to protect myself then. Because I have nothing more to say to you. Brandon, how was your ice cream? Great, I have four different kinds. Oh. Uh, Inspector Castillo, the, uh, there's a telephone call from your wife. Uh, thank you, Mark. This won't take long, so don't be going anywhere. They have these big pots in the kitchen, and they cook rice for them in them. They're about this big around. Yeah. Uh-oh, I'll go get it. Uh, could, could I get a phone? Why, sure. Thanks. Santana, calm down and tell me where you are. I'm downstairs in the lobby. I, I, I'm afraid to come up. I, if I see Brandon with that terrible woman, I, I don't know what I'll do. When Haley told me that he was listen with her, me, I... Listen to me, Brandon is okay. He's perfectly fine. I... He ran into Gina by accident at the house. There wasn't a thing I could do about it. But to tell you the truth, I think in the long run, it's going to help us smoke Kirk out. I won't have you using Brandon as some kind of bait. I'm not going to put him in any kind of jeopardy. I just... I need to get Gina to tell the truth about Kirk. If I'm right, he's even more dangerous than I thought he was. If you'll just come on up here, I'll explain the rest of this to you and show you that Brandon's fine. All right, all right, I'll be right there. I'm sorry if I startled you, Santana, but I'm still looking for Gina. Do you have any idea where she might be? I trusted you, Mary. More than anybody else in the world. You didn't plan this. You go off to your old convent for a retreat, and then you tell me that you were with Mason? I didn't expect to see him there, Mark. Well, then how did he get in? I don't know. He, he managed, and I, I went away with him. I can't believe this. Did Mother Isabel know? Yes, she knows. Well, what did she do? Open the door, let him walk in so he could drag you out? Mark, nobody dragged me anywhere. I'm responsible for my own actions. Me, not Mason, not Mother Isabel. What are you doing? Isn't that obvious? I don't want you to leave me, Mary. Look, I'm not doing this right. I am. I'm not really saying the right things, but it's because I'm getting a little desperate here, and I don't really know how to express myself best. All I know is that I love you. And how much this hurts. Oh, Mark, this has got to be hard on you. But don't you see, it, it would have happened even without Mason. He's not the problem. We are. We don't have a marriage. We never had a marriage. You're talking about our sex life. Y yes, in part, but that's not all of it, Mark. It's, you know, if we'd had a, a caring, loving relationship, if we'd been able to be open about our problems, when we got married, we stopped being friends. Yes, and that was my fault. But we have a chance to do it, Mary. We, we have a chance to make this marriage work. It's too late, I'm sorry. You mean it's too late because Mason's taken my place, right? I, you know, the timing is incredible. If you could only wait it just a little while long. Waited for what? All right, Mary, you were with him all night. Right? 
But you didn't deny it when I accused you of it. I need to hear it from you if I'm going to accept it. Did you sleep with Mason? Yes, I did. <sighs> I've recovered, Mary. What do you mean? I mean I've seen my doctor. I mean... If the damage from the accident is healed, I mean, I'm a man again, Mary. In every way. Hello? Hi, it's me. Oh, Gina, I have been waiting for your phone call. I just didn't know what to do. I tried to get through before, but the lines were busy. Now I'm stuck at the Capitol Hotel. Why? Because Cruz Castillo won't let me out of his sight. But he's the least of my worries. You know where C Kirk went? I, I don't know. He left a half hour ago, but I'm not sure where he's going. I think I do. He's probably coming after me. Look, I need your help. What do you want me to do? I want you to go into the den, and into Cece's den, and, and look in the desk. In the right-hand drawer, there's a key. A key to what? The gun cabinet. Open it up, and bring me a pistol and some ammunition. I can't do that, Gina. Come on, Haley. It's a matter of life and death. My life and death. I just need you to bring it over here. Bring it to the lobby. I'll meet you right away. I want him watched around the clock starting right now. He's sitting inside there at a table with his uh, mama, Gina Kaplan. All right, Danny? Right. Hey. Cruz, I'm looking for Kelly or Dylan. Well, I haven't seen him here. Dylan is doing some insane things. He's got Kelly. What do you mean, insane thing? I mean that I think he's totally flipped. He's intercepted some notes that Kelly wrote to me telling me where she was. Sweetheart, I'm going to go to the ladies and freshen up, okay? Okay. I may take a little while. But don't worry. I'll come back. Mommy always comes back. I want you to promise me you'll remember that. You're the policeman who was hired to guard my son, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. I'm just going to go to the ladies' room for a minute. Would you please watch him for me? Sure thing, Mrs. Kaplan. Thank you. Why don't you keep an eye on Miss Capwell, too, in case she's an important witness? Yes, sir. All right. Th thank you very much. Any word? No, I have tried everywhere. I called her next-door neighbor, all of our friends. No one has seen them. I wish I could do something, Nikki, but without an address or something to go on. You know, it's kind of tough. Yeah, I know. Listen, I'm just going to sit tight right here until Dylan calls, okay? Okay, I'm going to see what's keeping some time. I'll be waiting here. Yeah. I know that Gina was at the house tonight. Yeah, she was, but she left and I lost track of her. In fact, I've lost track of... My wife as well, but these days that's not so unusual, is it? You're going to have to excuse me, Kirk. I'm meeting someone. Whoa, whoa, what? What is it? Another client? No, no not, not exactly. You seem very nervous, Santana. It must be someone very special. Oh, it's just that I'm late. You know, I wouldn't blame you if you were seeing another man. I mean, after what you've learned about your husband and my wife, it must be very difficult for you to play the part of the loving wife. Uh, no, you're, you're wrong about that, Kirk. Actually, I'm, I'm meeting Cruz right now. In fact, there he is. Where is Brandon? You didn't leave him alone with Gina, did you? Gina's here. I'll be right with you. Uh, okay, I'm just waiting for someone. Uh, no, I'm sorry. The presidential suite is, is unavailable. It's usually reserved for the Capwell family. As a matter of fact, one of the Capwell girls has it booked for the night. You're welcome. Why do you want to know about Gina, Kirk? I'm always interested in Gina. She's full of surprises, Cruz. Uh -huh. Would it surprise you very much if she changed her story about the blackmailer in the boathouse? Why would she do that? Kirk Cranston? Yes. Good. Then I have to deliver you this. 
the hell is this? It's a summons and complaint on the part of Eden Cranston. She's suing you for divorce. Excuse me, Mr. Hartley. You have a call on line three. Thank you. Hello, this is Nick Hartley speaking. It's about time. <laughs> I'd almost given up. No, no, no acudías al teléfono. Dylan, ¿dónde estás? ¿Está Kelly todavía contigo? Oh, tranquilízate, hermanito. Tienes que subir todos los peldaños igual que yo. Dylan, si te importa algo, Kelly, déjala que se vaya, por favor. Solo quieres que me rinda porque estoy ganando. Lo siento, pero me estoy divirtiendo mucho. Maldita sea, ¿dónde estás? Anímate. Escucha, solo te queda otro acertijo. ¿Listo? Soplo sobre ti como el viento. El amor está siempre a tu lado. Tu dama, hace tiempo abandonada, mantiene una... Dylan. Dylan, ¿estás ahí? ¡Dylan! ¡Maldita sea! ¡No puedes detenerme! ¡No puedes detenerme! Por una vez en su vida, mi honrado y recto hermano va a recibir lo que se merece. Sí, se ha cortado. Necesito... <risa> Quiere divorciarse. Tenemos que irnos, Brando nos espera. Esto es lo que tanto esperabas, ¿no, Cruz? Déjanos solos. Eso no es asunto mío y no voy a discutirlo contigo. Lo que es asunto mío es mi familia y el caso en el que estoy trabajando. Quiero que no te acerques a Santana, Kirk. Ni a Gina, ahora es testigo esencial. Y si intentas que cambie su historia, solo estarás añadiendo más años a tu sentencia. ¿Por qué iba a querer que cambiara su historia? Ha dicho que vio claramente al hombre que chantajeó a Iden. Bueno, verás, Gina es una testigo extraña, su memoria fluctúa. Pero tengo el presentimiento de que los cargos por perjurio le harán recordar aquella noche en el embarcadero con gran nitidez. ¿Sabes una cosa, Cruz? Creo que eres tú quien desea que Gina cambie su historia. Pero no vas a tener tanta suerte. No es de fiar. Es muy probable que suba al estrado de los testigos con amnesia total. Espero que no sea una amenaza. Las únicas amenazas que oigo en esta conversación vienen de ti. Eres muy suspicaz. Aléjate de ella. Tenemos que hablar. Mientras subimos, quiero ver a Brandon. De él quería hablarte. Es necesario que Brandon se vaya... Hayley, ¿qué haces aquí? Ah, hola. Yo solo... Yo estaba a cruz. Casi se me olvida. Tengo un mensaje de Eden. Llamó. Su a ver a Brandon. Santana, espera un momento. Dijo que no corría prisa. Estará en este teléfono un rato. Bien, gracias. Lo siento, pero su testigo se escapó. ¿Qué? Dijo que iba al servicio y desde entonces no la he vuelto a ver. ¿Se ha ido? ¿Dónde está Brandon? Brandon está bien. McKinsey está con él. Pero Gina Campbell ha desaparecido. No. Es, es maravilloso, Mark. Me alegro por ti. No, Mary, por nosotros. Quiero que te alegres por nosotros. Significa que ya podemos llevar una vida normal. Ser una familia. No. ¿Por qué no? ¿Porque sigues enamorada de Mason? Por favor, Mary, sé que te empujé a él. Pero estabas enamorada de mí. Te casaste conmigo. Sí, ya sé que cometí muchos errores. Y nunca me perdonaré por la forma en que te he tratado. Pero lo hice porque te quería y no podía ser un verdadero marido para ti. Eso me atormentaba, lo entiendes, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces perdóname. Deja que te demuestre que te puedo hacer feliz. Mark, no te amo. No como una esposa debería amar a su marido. No puedes amarle, Mary. No es digno de ti y lo sabes. 
Acudiste a él porque estabas desesperada. Mark, ¿sabes que estuve relacionada con él? Sí, y le dejaste porque odiabas todo lo que representaba. Odiabas su falta de principios, odiabas el hecho de que mintiera. Se ha pasado la vida engañando. No sentías respeto por él. Ha, ha cambiado. ¿Ah, sí? ¿O ha aprendido a disimularlo? Mark, descalificar a Mason no va a solucionar las cosas entre nosotros. Muy bien. ¿Qué hay de tu religión? Me dijiste que era lo más importante del mundo para ti, pero lo que estás haciendo es violar tus creencias. ¡No me hagas eso! No utilices mis creencias contra mí. ¿No te importaban cuando, cuando querías convencerme de que me acostara contigo antes de casarnos? ¿O cuando te has acostado con prostitutas Muy bien, después? de acuerdo, de acuerdo. Lo siento, tienes... Tienes razón, esto es juego sucio. Puede que lo que esté herido sea tu orgullo. Eso facilitaría la huida, ¿verdad? No estoy buscando una salida fácil, Mark. Trato de ser sincera con respecto a mis sentimientos hacia ti y mis sentimientos hacia Mason. No quería amarle, quería amarte a ti, pero uno no se puede no, amar Mary, a alguien. ¡No, no! Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Dejemos de herirnos mutuamente. Terminemos de una vez con esta situación y esta agonía. ¿Qué vas a hacer, Mary? Solicitaré la anulación. ¿Qué? Eso no mejorará ¿Quieres sinceridad? Las cosas. Muy bien, te daré sinceridad. Mira. ¿Qué quieres? Mírate bien, Mary. Quiero que mires bien lo que estás haciendo. Ya has roto uno de los mandamientos de la ley de Dios. Yo también no soy mejor que tú. Pero quiero reparar mis pecados, Mary. No quiero empeorarlos. Y eso es exactamente lo que tú vas a hacer. Si te alejas de mí. Estás tergiversando las cosas. Mary, ¿no recuerdas lo unidos que estábamos cuando éramos niños? Solíamos hablar de todo. Nos contábamos todo lo que queríamos hacer. Tú creías en mí mucho más que yo mismo. Ni siquiera sería médico si tú no me hubieras animado. Lloré cuando te fuiste al convento. Nunca te dije cuánto te quería. Mark, yo pensaba que nuestro matrimonio sería una convivencia de amor, pero no ha sido así. Te he fallado. Acepto esa responsabilidad. Pero he aprendido. He aprendido mucho. He aprendido cuánto te amo. Lo que significa amar. Y cuánto te necesito. Como tú me necesitas a mí. No al hombre que he sido durante los últimos meses. Sino al que soy capaz de ser. Con tu amor y tu apoyo. Mary, piensa en una vida junto a mí. En el estupendo trabajo que podemos realizar en la clínica. Piensa en los hijos que tendríamos, en la felicidad que nos proporcionaría criarlos. Sería una vida maravillosa. Eso era lo que esperaba cuando nos casamos. Pero ya no podemos tener esa clase de vida, Mark. Ya no lo creo, por mucho que lo intentemos. ¿No te importa nada de lo que digo? Las palabras no lo son todo. Mary, ¿vas a... ¿vas a renegar de tu religión? No, por supuesto que no. ¿Cómo puedes hablar de anulación? ¿Por qué motivo, Mary? ¿Porque el matrimonio no ha sido consumado? Hubieras... 
podido utilizar eso la semana pasada, pero no ahora. Puedo ser un verdadero marido para ti. Puedo darte hijos. Te estoy pidiendo otra oportunidad. En el nombre de Dios, ¿por qué no me la puedes dar? No significa nada para ti que te quiera. Claro que sí. Pero no cambia las cosas. Mark, no te puedo dar lo que quieres. Mary, ¿alguna vez me has querido? ¿O te casaste conmigo solo? Por compasión, porque casi muero en aquella explosión. Claro que te quería. Todavía te quiero. Pero como a un amigo. Cometimos un error al intentar convertir nuestra amistad en algo más. Me resulta... Muy duro oírte llamar error a lo que siento. Oh, porque... Sabes que lo que digo es verdad, aunque te resulte muy doloroso afrontarlo. Cuando, cuando llegaste aquí, estabas atravesando una mala racha. Yo representaba la seguridad de tu pasado. ¿Crees que lo comprendes todo? Mark, nunca estuve muy convencida de casarme contigo. Pensaba que nos uníamos por motivos equivocados. Pero luego tuviste el accidente, estuviste tan cerca de la muerte. Luego fue compasión. No lo comprendes, te, te conocía de toda la vida y te estabas muriendo, sentía muchas cosas. Sí, compasión, pero también amor. Deseaba darte algo, quería darte un aleciente para vivir o, o un poco de felicidad antes de que murieras. Bueno, supongo que arruiné tu noble gesto al seguir vivo. No digas eso, Mark, no es verdad. Yo puse cuanto tenía en este matrimonio. Entonces, ¿por qué abandonar ahora que tenemos la oportunidad de hacer que funcione? Hago lo que creo que está bien. No, Mary. Lo que está bien es que te quedes con tu marido. Que te ama. Y te necesita. Mary, al menos ten la decencia de admitir... Que la razón por la que te vas es que quieres estar con tu amante. Ya te he dicho, Mark, que esto hubiera ocurrido de todas formas. Oh, bien. Perdóname que lo dude. Mary, ¿no te das cuenta de que lo que te fascina tanto de él es... la idea de reformarle? No, no. He dejado de pensar que puedo cambiar a la gente. Si la gente cambia, lo hace por sí sola. ¿Y crees de verdad que él lo ha hecho? Creo... Creo que... Gran parte de nuestro fracaso ha sido por mi culpa. Ah, oh, por favor, Mary, ¿qué pasa? ¿Te dijo eso? Vaya, no te deja ver la realidad. Mira, si, si estoy haciendo el tonto, seré yo quien sufra las consecuencias. Sí, yo ya las estoy sufriendo. Y si piensas de verdad que la gente puede cambiar, yo he cambiado. Mark, lo nuestro ha terminado, así que acéptalo. No puedo aceptarlo, no lo haré. Tendrás que hacerlo porque voy a pedir la anulación. Tengo que salir de aquí, enviaré a alguien a por mis cosas. Adiós, Mark. Esto no es un adiós. Muy bien, quiero que cerréis el hotel para que no pueda salir. Vamos a registrar habitación por habitación y si está en el edificio la encontraremos. Comprendido. Bien. Cruz. Sí. Dylan llamó por fin. Necesito tu ayuda. ¿Pudiste hablar con Kelly? No, esta vez no. Me ha dado parte de otra pista. No sé qué pasó, pero alguien le interrumpió antes de que acabara de decírmelo. Kelly está en un gran apuro, Cruz. Dylan parecía estar completamente trastornado. ¿Tienes alguna idea de dónde puede estar? No, aún no. Que me espere un coche patrulla, porque cuando desvele esto quiero ponerla a salvo antes de que... No quiero ni pensar lo que podría ocurrir. Hayley, siento haberte asustado, pero no podía arriesgarme a que Kirk o Cruz me vieran. El inspector Castillo está en el hall. ¿Por qué huyes de él, Gina? Sospechan de Kirk como criminal, no de ti. Porque no confío en que la policía me proteja de Kirk. Tendré que protegerme a mí misma. Eden me ayudará a librarme de él. ¿Cómo va a ayudarte? Ni siquiera está en la ciudad. 
Esa es la versión oficial, pero sé dónde está. Así que si me das la pistola, me encargaré de mis asuntos. No he traído ninguna pistola. ¿Cómo que no la has traído? Hailey, te pedí que... Sal de aquí, vete ya. Oye, ¿por qué no subes al restaurante? Si Dylan llama otra vez, esperará a encontrarte uh -huh. allí. Ve con él, Gus. Vigila por si aparece Gina. Que el señor Harley te tenga mano por si necesita ayuda. Muy bien. Gracias, Cruz. De nada. Dylan, basta ya. ¡Cállate! He destrozado mi vida por ti, Kelly. He renunciado a todo. Dejé de volar. Engañé en mis negocios para conseguir dinero para ti. Luego perdí el casino. Y ahora no podré volver a andar gracias a ti. Me has arrebatado todo. Excepto lo que siento por ti. Aún sigo pensando que eres lo más maravilloso que me ha pasado. ¿Quieres escucharme, Dylan? Estaremos juntos otra vez tal y como deseábamos. Nick ya no lleva las riendas. Por fin tendremos la oportunidad de vengarnos de él. Dylan, si viene... ¡Aparecerá! ¡Lo he planeado así! ¡Estás loca, Kelly! ¡Escúchame! Lo de mi hermano pasó a la historia. Todo lo que tenemos ahora, Kelly, es terminar el juego tal y como lo he preparado. No, Dylan. Es todo lo que tenemos, Kelly. Por favor. Aprovechémoslo. ¿Seguro que no quieres que vaya a la casa de huéspedes a recoger tus cosas? Puedo llevarlas a tu antigua habitación. En realidad es mi antigua habitación. Supongo que podemos considerarla nuestra habitación. Mesa. ¿Qué ocurre? No hables así. ¿Así? ¿Cómo? Me gustaría pensar sobre mi futuro. En cierto modo me sentiría más a gusto si te refirieras en plural a nuestro futuro. Mark me ha hecho recapacitar. Sí, sabía que intentaría hacer que te sintieras culpable. Pero cuando le dijiste adiós pensé... que no habías cambiado de opinión sobre la anulación. Va mucho más lejos que todo eso. Mira, no espero que te olvides de tu matrimonio por las buenas porque tengas una aventura conmigo. Sé que lo de anoche fue un regalo. Y sé que necesitas tiempo para pensar. Te quiero mucho. Haré todo lo que desees. Oh, yo también te quiero. Y si tienes alguna duda sobre lo de anoche, o sobre mis intenciones, se me ocurre una solución muy sencilla. Solo hace falta una pequeña acción por tu parte. ¿Cuál es? Cásate conmigo. Sí, señor, lo he sellado. Pensé que era necesario. Sí, iré allí. Gracias. Su mujer y su hijo están en casa de su suegra. Gracias. ¿Puede sustituirme un momento? Necesito hacer otra llamada. Sí, señor. Muy bien. Tu dama hace tiempo abandonada. Nuestra boda se suspendió. Hable con Buz en el casino. No hay rastro de ellos. Ah, ¡Maldita sea! Pensé... Gracias. ¿Necesita algo? No, todavía no. Soplo sobre ti. Como el viento. ¡Basta ya! ¡Deja de pelear! ¡Dame la oportunidad de ser amable contigo! ¡De ser cariñoso! ¡No! ¡No importa lo que haga ni lo que diga! ¡No me crees, ¿verdad? ¡No quiero hacerte daño! ¡Lo único que quiero es amarte! ¡Kelly, quiero lo mejor para ti! ¡Quiero que confíes en mí! ¡No quiero forzarte! Si me prometes que no gritarás, 
Te dejaré. ¿Ves? ¿Ves? No es mucho mejor. Eres la mujer más hermosa que he visto en mi vida. Y voy a dedicar mi vida a hacerte feliz. ¡Me has mentido! ¡Te mataría por eso! ¡No te acerques a mí! Yo solo quería amarte. Y me has engañado. ¡No! ¡Basta! ¡No entres! ¡Nick tiene una pistola! Me alegro de que esté aquí. Ya era hora. Pero primero, Ed. ¡Ah! 